YouTube. This is Daily Space Observations, bringing you your daily dose of space. So you might not notice something about the quality of this video. It looks better, right? And you can hear me better because I'm using my computer instead of an old iPad. Yes, I, I, I was using an iPad too since I thought it would be better and more portable. But it turns out I was wrong about the camera being better part. Plus, you could barely hear me, so I thought I'd use something else instead. And also, a pretty big announcement for this summer. This summer, I, I, I will be getting a Celestron Nexstar 6SE, which is a, so I'm getting a brand new telescope this summer, and I'll take a lot better vi videos and the, and the quality will be so much better and so much sharper. There'll be a lot less wobbling. So yeah, I just like to point that the head out. And also my 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 channel trailer is probably gonna be coming out the same day too. All right. So if my telescope is here, you'll probably think I'm doing another review on my telescope. But why would I do that since I've already did it? So this is a review on an on an eyepiece that is compatible with my telescope. So as you can see, this is not a normal eyepiece. <sighs> Hold on. So see here, this is the eyepiece, this is one of the two eyepieces that my telescope came with. And this is the special Pentax zooming eyepiece. See, pretty big di difference in size. It's a lot bigger, but it's a lot better too. This eyepiece has a, maxima, has a maximum magnification of 60 times or 6.5 millimeters. And its lowest magnification is 19.5 millimeters, or 20 times. This is this. So, so this can zoom in significantly higher than my other eyepiece. The I mean, than the strongest eyepiece that came with my telescope, which is a 10 millimeter or 40 times. All right, so this eyepiece is a zooming eyepiece. It's unique from other n normal eyepieces because it can zoom in on its own. It's the Pentax zooming eyepiece. And yes, this eyepiece works with spotting scopes and telescopes. I tested this out myself and it's very universal. It fits on a lot of telescopes and spotting scopes. So most likely your your telescope would be compatible with this. But sadly, I can't film with this eyepiece because it is too big for my phone adapter to to fit on. So instead, I need to use my 4D times eyepiece ducking with my telescope but that will change because when i get my celestron nexstar 6 se it comes with a normal eyepiece that can zoom in 60 times and is not th this big which is quite cool okay so what are the features of this eyepiece here so if you can see here, this eyepiece can zoom in from, from 20 times to 60 times. The screen is upside down, but I'll show you. So this is 20 times, and if I turn this knob, it goes to 40 times, or it can even go to 60 times. And to give your eyes a little comfort too, 
like my binoculars can, this top part here can also go up so it can support your eyes and their comfort, which is cool. Let me just put this on my telescope. So this is how it looks. It's pretty cool, actually. I like the padded, see here, it's soft and padded. It is, and it has a big, wide eyepiece hole, which is pretty cool. So yes, this is the Pentax Universal zo zo Zooming Eyepiece. I hope you all enjoyed this time a new review video on this on this telescope eyepiece or spotting scope eyepiece and i will see you all later bye